this Wednesday edition of The Box Seat. I'm Matt Kelly. This is one of the best midweek meetings we've had for some time. But before we check out all of the winners, let's check in on the expected conditions. And we're looking at a mostly sunny day and a top temperature of 29 degrees. The expected track rating is a good four with the rail in the 15 metre position. The first of nine races is at 12.29. It's the Get the Tab Touch Maiden over 1,100 metres. The replay horse is number one, Fire and Rain, winning a 400 metre trial at Belmont on November 13. Also showing speed is Fairview. Nagawi's right up there. The outside is Lady Sass. And coming down the centre is Locklear. And further out on the track is Smart Fascinator. Under the whip is Admiration Street. And then Arnie's boy, 150 to go. Far and Rain is well clear. Holding down second is Fairview with Lady Sass on the outside. And running home is Nagawi. But an easy win to Far and Rain. It won it well. Second. That is the sole public trial that this two-year-old has had and what a beauty it was. Trainer Paul Jordan has had some success with the two-year-olds of late with Carolina Reaper and Party Knight. This boy jumps from gate number two and he's a half a brother to Storm God who won on debut as a two-year-old at Ascot as well. He goes on top from the seven fair trusive who was scratched from the two-year-old event on Saturday. He's trained by Dan Morton and Dan said that there was little between this filly and Nacelli, I should say, who took out that event on Saturday. Uh, with that in mind, Fair Trusive goes in for second. The Four Emerald Rose goes in for third, was one of the eye catchers behind Carolina Reaper on debut. And the fourth selection is the Six All That Sizzle, who has won two trials coming in to this debut run on Wednesday. The top four selections for the first event going with the one, Fire and Rain from the seven, Fair Trusive, the Four Emerald Rose, and the Six All That Sizzle. Race number two is at 1.24. It's the Iron Jack Maiden over 1,200 metres. The vision horse heading into this race is number one, Buff Man, finishing second at Northam on November 9. This came flag stick and further back behind them. Southern Sun beginning to wind up at the 300 and Buff Man and Total Disc have now come together. Southern Sun's a length and a half away, but certainly bridging the margin. Southern Sun comes at Buff Man. They beat off Total Disc. Nobel Suspect further back and then Frio. Southern Sun reaches the lead though, pulls away from Buff Man. Then Fair Tequila getting home late, but it's Southern Sun too good. Southern Sun... Buff Man wouldn't be a maiden if he could just draw a gate. He jumped from barrier 10 there and did a lot of work early, but still finished off well. He jumps from barrier number eight in this event. Expect that he'll go forward again and probably tuck in behind, come on over and requisition. He's got a nice turn of foot and I think he's due to break the duck here and certainly can. From the nine, come on over, who was a little wayward in the straight when challenged at Northern last start. Did beat Buff Man home two starts back. Expect that she'll go forward again here and certainly give a sight. The six requisition goes in for third. Gave State Attorney quite a scare a last start when on debut at York. Expect that this horse will get the gun run from the good alley in barrier at number three and can certainly figure in. Rounding out the four, I've gone the three Hayen Lad who had absolutely no luck at all last start, having drawn the outside gate. Draws a better barrier here and that can see a better result. The top four selections for race number two, going the one buff man over the nine, come on over, the six requisition and the three hay and lag. Race number three is at 159. It's the Penfolds handicap over a thousand metres. The replay horse here is number three, Street Fury, running a second in a 950 metre trial at Lark Hill on November the 6th. Joining it and then Scandium who's out a little bit wider. Just behind them and travelling pretty well is Street Fury. It's about to come out three wide now. And now followed by Joyce Affair who's one off the fence. 250 metres left to go. And coming home nicely, Street Fury on the outside is after Jagamup now. Jagamup in front, Street Fury just hands and heels, but Jagamup hanging on, and Jagamup has been joined Pretty by... happy with that return. Street Fury didn't miss a place in three runs in the winter, including a half-head defeat to Salubrious, who goes around in the WA Guineas on a Saturday. William Pike rides Street Fury from Barrier 3 in this event. She's the one to beat for mine. From the six, a vital blast, who was beaten as an odds-on favourite last start at Northam, 
willing to forgive that run as the trial prior was absolutely outstanding and was just a length off Fabergino as a two-year-old. I think the six Vital Blast can certainly give this a shake. The five Tango Aura goes in for third. This is a horse that also has a bit of form around Fabergino, albeit more recently was a second behind Fabergino last start, was first up, faded in the finish to finish four lengths from the winner, but still clocked 58.40 for the 1,000 metre trip. That was quicker than Dainty Tess, who won the Prince of Wales on the same day. And the one double the pro goes in for fourth. This is another horse that's resuming and another that looked good in a recent trial run, trial win, I should say. Two runs as a two-year-old were also very promising. The top four selections for race three are going the three, Street Fury, from the six, Vital Blast, the five, Tango, Aura, and the one, Double the Pro. Race number four is at 2.37. It's the Hose Masters Handicap over a thousand meters. The replay horse we're checking in on here is number one, Cramden. Finishing second at Ascot on November 7. To go. Cramden snuck a length and a half in front from Excellent Jerry. On the inside, about to come around heels. Denim Pack Bangalore. Here comes Orange Strudel down the outside and a run for Mega Minx. It's getting home brilliantly along the rail. It's Cramden, Orange Strudel. Denim Pack coming from Mega Minx on the rail. They split it together. Tight go. Give it to Denim Pack. Thought that was a pretty game effort in a pretty solid 56 grade race. Sticks to that grade here. But I think this assignment is a little easier. We'll appreciate the three kilo claim from Molly Clark. Jumps from barrier number five and can win the one. Cramden on top from the eight lucky Legacy, who's the danger for mine. We'll put the pen through that last start performance though when well behind Puck a shape shifter was chopped out of a run at the 150 metre mark and was never a winning chance from there on in. William Pike jumps aboard for the first time and this horse draws barrier four, certainly looks in the mix. The two puck shape shifter goes in for third, jumped from barrier four and got a favours when saluting last start. Was one out, one back, had quite a cosy run and did enough in the straight two score. Jumps from barrier eight now though, so that makes things a little trickier but can certainly run well. And the five, Arafura, is a horse that resumes here. Off a soft trial win 10 days ago. This is a horse who's only had six starts, but showed nice improvement through the winter and can return in good fashion here. For race number four, the top four selections start with the one, Cramden from the eight, Lucky Legacy, the two, Puck Shapeshifter, and the five, Arafura.